Good morning, L200 clutch replacement. It's a 2007 model. Both gear lever knobs simply unscrew. And off they come. On the main gear lever there's a uh, secondary anti-slip device, a nylon thing that just uh, unscrews. Don't lose it. Take 10 years plus of junk out of the uh, glove box and ooh, jelly baby. I like jelly babies. And down in the bottom there, there are two 10 mm headed uh, screws to remove. The uh, rear part of the console then lifts off the front part of the console. It's clipped on, so it, it takes a little bit of force to flip backwards. And it will move back far enough to access uh, two 10mm screws holding the front part of the console down. Travelling down from the gear lever, there, on either side there is a uh, trim clip of this type. The trick with these is to push the centre portion in about an eighth of an inch until it clicks and then you can pull them out. Don't try to push the uh, centre portion all the way through or it will break. With the console lifted off there is a piece of padding to move away and then half a dozen uh, Phillips number two headed screws to remove to get the uh, gear lever gaiters out of the way. Having lifted the lower gaiter out of the way the gear lever itself is held in with a spring-loaded bayonet fitting and then the gear lever will just lift out of the way. There's a, uh, a nylon uh, slider on the end of it to be aware not to lose. The other gear lever seems to be fitted in with a couple of 10mm headed screws, probably three actually. There is a little vent pipe to uh, pull out of the four-wheel drive lever uh, lower gator and then the uh, gear levers simply lift out of the way and uh, should be put somewhere clean and dry because we don't want to get any uh, dust and rubbish in there and uh, we're going to stuff a bit of tissue or rag in uh, these openings to keep all the muck out. And then it's off with the prop shaft. 14mm and 17mm spanners for the uh, prop shaft nuts on the diff and they will be tight, or they should be anyway. Take two off, then jack one wheel up and turn it until the other two are in a suitable position, then whip those off. The centre bearing itself is uh, fitted from above with some really awkwardly uh, positioned uh, nuts and uh, this flexible headed ratchet is actually coming into its own probably for the first time since I bought it uh, many years ago. 14mm uh, heads. Now with the uh, prop shaft dropped, centre bearing undone, the uh, front of the prop shaft is one of the splined on types and simply withdraws from the back of the gearbox uh, and normally, annoyingly, uh, spills oil all over the place unless you've had the sense to drain it. Now you should take the oil out to do this job and uh, the 24mm headed drain plug is just there yeah. on the uh, side of the transfer box. Uh, front prop shaft to take off now, 12mm uh, and 14mm spanners, again very tight, uh, I've just put a little uh, location mark on, uh, not necessary but uh, good work in practice. So that's the front prop shaft off and above it is the clutch slave cylinder to undo. So the uh, slave cylinder is held on. Uh, with two 14mm headed screws. Uh, the piston didn't come all the way out so that's safe 
and uh, there is an exhaust bracket on the other side also held on with a 14 millimeter screw and then we're down to the bell housing bolts uh, so I'll report on those later on this particular vehicle the uh, bell housing uh, bolts are particularly difficult to get at and they're all different sizes so take note of where they come from the uh, longest one held on the uh, uh, clutch slave cylinder at the bottom and uh, the next shorter one held on the uh, exhaust bracket at the other side both going through the dowels there are two similarly sized ones shorter still uh, which go on the left hand side and hold the starter motor on when you reassemble put them both on at once uh, or you will find it difficult to put the second one on uh, because the starter motor might not be hanging centrally and then at the top behind the cylinder head there are two particularly difficult uh, ones the shortest ones uh, the one on the left hand side you can manage if you get a bit inventive with your uh, socketry they all have 14 millimeter heads uh, but the one on the right hand side is a nightmare to get at and I uh, managed to get at it uh, with a uh, strong bar uh, but it needs to be one which you can take past the 90 degrees like so uh, I tried every 14 millimeter socket I got um, until I got one that would get me a bit of movement just to crack it very tight but once it's undone uh, you can loosen it off with your fingers you can get a 14 millimeter combination spanner on it uh, with the ring end but they're so tight you you just do not get the leverage to undo that with a spanner to the left there is a uh, rubber <laughs> well it's supposed to be rubber anyway there is a rubber uh, gearbox mounting uh, fastened on to the side of the uh, transfer box uh, two 14 millimeter headed screws uh, the gearbox is uh, fixed to the cross member it seems by two long 14 millimeter headed nuts and bolts which go through there by the cross member and then the cross member itself is uh, fixed to the chassis with six 17 millimeter headed uh, screws So I'm taking out uh, two of the uh, cross member screws on uh, each side and loosening the third one just leaving it uh, supporting the uh, gearbox for the time being. Now you can release the main wiring harness from the chassis of the vehicle so that you can lower the uh, gearbox down before having to undo uh, multiple uh, uh, wire connectors uh, to release the wiring from the gearbox. Now this gearbox is a big heavy thing so uh, you don't want to be trying to do it without a jack. The pressure plate was held on with six 12mm uh, headed screws and I've got a clutch bolt alignment tool uh, to ensure that the splines in the friction plate line up with the spigot bearing. So I'm just going to pop this back on now while John uh, changes the clutch bearing. Now we have the gearbox on this uh, old uh, transmission crawler. You would struggle to do it without a transmission jack but you could adapt a common trolley jack if you needed to. Reassembly is uh, a simple matter of uh, reversal. Um, the uh, prop shaft has a uh, master spline in there so uh, it won't go on in any old position. And the prop shaft's off, so it's a good time to uh, grease the uh, hardy spices and uh, inspect the centre bearing. 